Okay, welcome back to a new GN4 11 tutorial. Uh, in the previous video, I explained how you can install GN4 and we also tested it to see whether everything works well. We also sourced the shell script, which is important to find the libraries and header files. So now in this tutorial, now we will create our first empty project. And then in the next, in the next videos, we will slowly fill it with life, so to say, and uh, see what kind of things, what kind of projects we can uh, we can do yeah, and I will try to cover most of the things that you asked me um, to to make sure that everybody will be happy with this yeah so as I said I'm using Visual Studio Code for that because I think this is uh, the most convenient thing you can also use any terminal any text editor but uh, I can really recommend to use this one it makes it much easier for uh, for controlling your project and also to use version control. Yeah, so I will also create an official GitHub repository for that. So later you can download the code. I will use certain tags or branches for the different tutorial versions. So you can always go back in the code and check what has been changed. Okay, so now I created here, as you can see in the terminal, a new folder, which I call GN4 11 tutorial. Yeah. Of course, you can also name it differently. But uh, the important thing is that now inside this folder, uh, in the in the top folder, so to say, we create here a new file, uh, which we call cmakelists.txt. Yeah, uh, this is our first file and also the most important file because here we can control how our how our compiler will later, um, yeah, compile the program. So. We will go step by step to this progress. Uh, so um, the important thing is that um, there is a uh, plugin which you can install for Visual Studio Code, which can also handle CMake files. So uh, it will give you auto completion for the different commands. And also um, it, it will make it possible to run CMake out of uh, this uh, IDE. Okay, so now let's start with CMake minimum required now yeah, this is the first command and here we write in the minimum required version for cmake and uh, in this case it should be 3.2 yeah, you can also go to a lower one but of course it should not be smaller than the one which you used for compiling gn4 otherwise it might create problems and if this is not uh, found yeah, then it will give you an error message okay uh, and it will also not compile further so now the next thing uh, would be that we have to give a project name. So in this case, I will call it tutorial. Of course, you can give any name, but of course it should match with the with the with the thing which you want to simulate at the end. Yeah, and uh, then we can uh, we have to include GN4. Yeah, and to do this, we use this uh, command find package gn4 and then required yeah because without gn4 it does not work at all so we have to um, include it um, and it, it has to be found otherwise it will not work and then we have to include our gn4 header file so this we will do with our include uh, function and then we will use our um, our environment variable gn4 use file okay um, now we can also include our own directories that we will create later at the moment we don't have them and in this tutorial we will also not create them but in later tutorials i will uh, use um, a folder called include for include files and src for source file so for our include directory uh, we use our project uh, source file um, project source dir and here we create later a folder called include and also for our source we have to we have to include these files using the file function and then we want to use uh, wildcards later so we have to write glob sources and then pro Project source dir again, and from our source dir we have to take it um, and then uh, src and then all cc files that are included in this src folder have to be used for the compilation. 
And then the last step which we have to do, we have to add an executable and uh, maybe we can just call that sim, yeah, this, this uh, file which will be created, the executable file. And the main file could be just simply called sim.cc. And then here we have to also include all sources that we have uh, that we have actually created here, yeah, and include this in our at executable. Yeah, and then we have to in the next step also link. Uh, this is not correct. We have to actually write target link libraries, and then link our GN4 libraries to that. Okay, and now in the last step, uh, we have to then create our custom target and we can write here tutorial depends sim. And now our project is tutorial is related to our executable sim. Um, yeah, if we want to test this, we can now create here a new folder called build and we can go into this folder and we can write cmake dot dot and you can see here um, it says that gn4 cannot be found everything else went fine but if you receive this error message here then it means you did not source the shell file as i have explained in the previous video so if you want to know how to do that you can go back i defined my own command for that so i can write now only gn4 make and when i do this then uh, one can see that this actually works. And now uh, the last complaint here, which we can see is that sim.cc is missing. Of course, we have not created this until now. So this we will now do in the next step. Okay, so we have to create another file and in the main folder, in the top folder, and this we call now sim.cc. And now we have to include a few headers so of course IO stream is always the best idea yeah, because uh, we will need it for any kind of um, text that we want to print out in the terminal, for example. And then we need a few GN4 includes. So one would be G4 run manager .hh. This is the uh, principle, the heart of GN4, you can say. And you can say, see that it, uh, it underlines it red. And I will say you later a few words about this, why this happening. And uh, then what we also need is uh, G4MT run manager, especially uh, when you compiled it in uh, multi-thread mode. Then what we also need is G4UE manager dot HH for the uh, user interface. Then what we need as well is G4 this manager the manager for the visualization. Then we need G4 this executive dot HH. And we also need G4 UE executive. And what they mean, we will see in a few minutes. So first I would like to get rid of these, uh, of these red uh, wave lines uh, below that. Uh, it doesn't create any problem. The program will still compile, but it doesn't look very nice if we have that. So we can uh, actually go to quick fix here mm -hmm. and change the include path um, of our project. So at the moment, um, the include path is only the standard path. So what we have to do, we have to check now uh, where our GN4 is installed and this include folder we have to include here as well. So I have created, as I said, uh, my own command for that. Yeah, so as you can see, I installed it here under software gn4 gn4 uh, v11 to to install. And then uh, we have to cut it here actually uh, and copy this included here in our include path. Yeah, and then behind this include, we also have to write gn4. There is another subfolder. Yeah, and uh, then we can just press tab and go back to our code here. And as we can see, uh, now all error messages vanished. So now we can go to our main function and we can write here int main int argc 
and argv, the standard way how we can uh, how we can do this in C++. And uh, then we can start with our G4 UE executive. And now you can see because we updated uh, our include path, we also get auto completion for every command that we write or for every function for every class that we use. And uh, this we call UI. And then we have to write here new G4 UI executive argc argv. So we have to give hand over our command line parameters if we have them. Okay. So now in the next step, we have to uh, include our, uh, we have to create an ob object of our run manager. And we will do this in the following way. We'll write if dev g4 multi threaded. Yeah, it's because if uh, it depends whether you install gn4 in multi-threaded mode or single threaded mode, you have to use another run manager. And if you want to automatically recognize what you have done, you can do this in the following way. If you are sure what you have done and uh, you will not change it later, you don't, you can skip this actually, but I will do it in this way to make it a little bit more convenient for the future. Then we have to write here g4 mt run manager, run manager, and this will be then new G4 MT run manager for multi-threading or else. And then we can write here G4 run manager in single thread mode, new G4 run manager. Yeah, and again, we can use auto completion here in this case. And uh, then we have here our and if and then in the next step, we can write g for this manager. This is for our visualization. This manager, this is the name of our object. New g for this executive. Yeah, so we can actually relate to this. And uh, then we can write this manager initialize. Now it's written with set. This is our um, member function which we have to use to initialize it. And then we can write here G4 UI manager. And this will be our object UI manager equals G4 UI manager. And then we have to take over this UI pointer. So now in the, in the last step, we have to then write UI session start. And of course, because it's our main function, which has to return an int value, we can write return zero. And here I forgot a semicolon. Okay, in principle, now our main function is complete. We can go again to our build, write cmake dot dot. Then we can write make. And if I didn't make any typing mistakes, which is now excluded so in principle because always using auto completion in principle or check whether any error message is given here for example some member function or some class is not found everything seems to be fine and now we can see when we take a look we have here our files including our sim executable and now we can run that and as you can see we have our empty gn4 um yeah uh, our empty gn4 window in principle yeah and later our detector geometry what what i have shown in the in the first tutorial we can see later here in this window but uh, i will keep this for the next video where we also include the physics list the detector construction and the particle gun so we will do everything step by step until we are completely familiar with that but this is everything which i want to show you today i hope that you liked the video that you enjoyed it um, and uh, yeah, hopefully see you soon for our next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content and want to see more of it, any type of support is always appreciated.